Okay, guys. So this is a reading for all 12 signs. Um, I feel like there's a Gemini who is either sending or receiving messages right now to somebody. Alright, I just had to say that. So this is going to be a reading right now from August 15th, 2018 to August 31st, 2018 for all 12 signs. I'm going to start with Aries. I'm going to pull two cards. Um, I'm going to pull who's coming towards you and then the outcome. I think that's how I'll do it. Okay, so who's coming towards Aries? Okay. Um, all right, so for Aries, you have the Two of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess in the upright. Now, this could be a fire sign coming towards you or a water sign. Yeah, a water sign. And this person or you uh, needs to use your intuition, but I feel like they made their decision. Okay. So choice has been made for Aries. Okay, and now we're going to do Pisces. Um, actually, I'm going to pull uh, one of my The Power of Love cards. I just bought these today. Um, they're by James Vaughn Prague. So for Aries, your Power of Love card is Vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. That's your power of love card message. Okay, I don't know. Box is jumping around back there. <laughs> okay, so who's coming towards Pisces and what is the outcome? Someone's getting over heartbreak. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The outcome is the King of Pentacles. Wow. This is a very um, stable person. Financially stable, very um, confident. So healing from heartbreak and you're going to have money. Wow. <laughs> okay. And your power love card is elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. That is your power love card. Okay. So moving on now to Gemini. And guys, just so it's fair, I'm actually going to put all these cards back in and do it for each sign. And I'll just put this over the ones I completed. That way I don't lose track of my progress. Just do it like that. It's one of those uh, learn as you go kind of deals. <laughs> Okay, who's coming towards Gemini and what is the outcome? Alright, so 
So it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, yeah, let's see what else we get. I feel like some of you are in denial about something. I feel like the universe is offering you the truth and the clarity, but you're in denial for some reason. Okay. It could have something to do with a fire sign. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Getting over conflict, though. I feel like you just decided to drop it. Like, you know, you feel like it's just not worth fighting over. Alright. And your... The Power of Love card is Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Okay, now I'm going to do Taurus coming towards Taurus. Well, that was, that was a jumper. If it's meant to be, it'll come back out. Who's coming towards Taurus? be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And this energy. Who's coming towards you is bringing a lot of petty tit for tat type, type of stuff with them. And I think you know it. Because you've dealt with them already. Okay, so what's the outcome? They want to offer you a cup of love. Taurus. But, I don't know, it could also be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be any sign for that matter. But I feel like you know this person comes with this kind of behavior. And your, the power of love card is unity. You understand that love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Okay. So now we're doing Cancer. Who's coming towards Cancer and what is the outcome? Mm. That is a lot of cards. Okay, so the message here is you're not offering your love to someone because they had a lot of options or you did. It could go vice versa. And the relationship was really toxic, and you, but you feel bound and tied to it for some reason and very burdensome and having anxiety, staying up late at night, stressed out about it. It could be any sign. Fire, air, earth, water. Yeah, somebody's got cancer stressed out right now. Okay. And your card is compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. Shuffle the cards, and then we'll do Leo. Who's coming towards Leo? All right, who 
whoever's coming towards you, either you or them is tired of waiting around. Yeah, you don't want to wait around anymore. It could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming towards you, or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but you're going to be victorious, Leo. This is your card, too. It's a victory card, Six of Wands. Yeah. So, let me pull you a card. You got commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Commitment. Alright, moving on to Virgo. Who's coming towards Virgo? Okay, I had a jumper there for a second. Who's coming towards Virgo? Okay, whoever's coming towards you, Virgo, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or any sign for that matter, but whoever's coming towards you, is still wanting to continue on with their petty ways, is what I'm getting from that, and they're emotionally imbalanced, it could be a water sign or an air sign. Or an earth sign like yourself. Could be any sign. So be warned. Mm -hmm. They still want to be petty. And they still want. And they're still emotionally unba unbalanced. Okay, and your card is discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. How fitting is that, Virgos? Okay, who's coming towards Libra? Libra, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But whoever's coming towards you no longer feels bound or tied to the situation and they know that it's over. This is the end. You have the death card here. Or it could go vice versa. But I'm going to pull you the power of love detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. Okay. Who's coming towards Scorpio? What is the outcome? Two cards. Who's coming towards Scorpio? And what is the outcome? Guys, you got heartbreak coming towards you. It could be a, an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Yeah. And this person is just a very unpleasant, nasty person. They're not very strong financially either. They're lacking finances. And they're heartbroken. Could be an earth sign as well. A Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Or another air sign like yourself. 
Okay, let's pull you the power of love. Creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Okay, let's see who's coming towards Sagittarius. Who's coming towards them and what is the outcome? The Eight of Wands, so looks like someone could be a fire sign like yourself, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like yourself, but they're coming forward to communicate with you. Yeah, and you have the Wheel of Fortune, so yeah, fire sign. Yeah. Things are going to be... Something's churning in your favor. Let's see. Okay. I feel like it was somebody that took a break from you. It could also be an air sign. And they were holding back financially or emotionally. Now they're going to reach out to you because they want to manifest something with you. Sagittarius. Let me pull your power love. You have cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. Okay. And now we're moving on to Capricorn. Who's coming towards Capricorn? And what is the outcome? Two cards. Try that again. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit too many. Okay, Capricorn could have an air sign coming towards you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person is extremely anxious. They have a lot of anxiety. They don't sleep at night, apparently. Could also be a Virgo. The Nine Swords there. Or Scorpio. Or they could be. I almost feel like this is someone who um, that was feeling this way. They're feeling this way, but eventually they're going to feel like they're free, you know, free from this. No longer feeling bound and tied to the situation and accept that, you know, it has to end. And your power of love card is integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Integrity. And now we're moving on to Aquarius. It's coming towards Aquarius. And what is the outcome?
have the star card. Could be another Aquarius, like yourself. Well, that could be you. Okay. This is very contradictory, so I might have to pull some clarifiers on this. We have the star card for Aquarius. This is your card. Then we have the five of cups, so it could be a water sign. If somebody's feeling some remorse, um, regret, sorrow. They're feeling sad. Something to do with a secret. Something to do with, um, they're not telling, they haven't told you everything. Okay. Alright. Pull your power of love. You have individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Wow. Okay, and then I'm going to pull you a Universal Love Oracle card, too, to close this reading. Because what is a love reading without a Universal Love Oracle card? And for you guys that don't know, These are my Universal Love Oracle cards. Tony Carmine Solera. No. I love these cards. Mm -hmm. They're still my favorite. I pick up cards. Uh, I've been picking up quite a few lately. And I'm telling you, these are still like my favorite. <laughs> I love these so much. Okay, so Spirit. One universal love oracle card for all 12 sun signs, Aries through Pisces. And I need to know one message for all of them from now. Oh, it gave me two. Okay. All right, guys. Well, you get two. And this is for the next couple weeks. This is from August 15th, 2018 to uh, the 31st of August. These are your two Universal Love Oracle cards. Alright. So, you have Eternal Flame. You are so much more than you can possibly know. An internal flame glows within you at all times. All is constantly embraced by eternal truth. You are being encouraged to hold on to your truth and not to be swayed by others. The universe is testing your faith in yourself. Will you hold your ground or will you give in? Remember, the path for another is not necessarily the right path for you. Stand firm in your truth and feel yourself both empowered and liberated. Also, guys, you got healing sounds. So the lady holds a crystal spear through which she is able to access ancient healing sounds. Our ears cannot hear the sound of our spirit that contains the resonance of ancient knowledge. The guidance coming through this card is to make you aware that much ancient knowledge from the times of Atlantis and Lumeria can be accessed through your spirit with the help of crystals and sound. In many ways, our earth at present is similar to these ancient times. Assessing these healing sounds will help you understand what is going on in our world at the present time. 
you will also help balance the Earth's energy at this important time of evolution. So those are your messages for the next couple of weeks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget, uh, any of you that would like to um, help me by time stamping, I greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have time to time stamp for you guys for a while, so I do apologize for that, any inconvenience that may cause any of you. Um, and I just want to thank you again for your support, and um, yeah, have a great day.